Hi, my name is Rasmus and I'm making a 3D top-down action adventure game. Welcome to my devlog series or welcome back if you already watched the first episode where I created a player character, an enemy and added melee combat to my action adventure game. Before adding any new features to the game, I completed a very important step that I always seem to do way too late on new projects. I added version control. There are many different options to choose from here, but I used Git and Bitbucket because I've used them before and also they're free. So I committed the work I completed so far, and as long as I keep doing that regularly, I can always go back whenever I break something. Getting back to game development, I first had to solve a big problem. My player character was invincible. That's not only caused by the stupid enemy AI, but also because I just didn't get around to implementing player health. So I added a health variable and created a UI panel to make it visible to the player as well. Then I implemented a quick damage function and a check if the player is below or equal to zero health. I put in the death animation and looks like it works. I will soon add more enemy types to the combat arena and I think it makes sense to keep the arena for tuning and balancing combat going forward. Only it doesn't really make sense if you can just run away from enemies. So I needed to confine the space somehow. I didn't want to spend too much time modeling stuff that I won't use for the actual game, so instead I simply made a tile which the player cannot leave. I added some rocks and moved around the trees, and finally I added some water, which by the way I learned from this awesome tutorial that I have linked in the description. I was also getting a little tired of looking at the default cursor, so I decided to do something about that. I modeled a little arrow in Blender and imported it with a script to follow the mouse around. I also added an update for its rotation so it always points away from the player character. I think it ended up quite good. Next I went on to add a second resource for the player. Now I'm not completely sure exactly how it will be used going forward, but I often find when making games that adding a mechanic leads me to discover more interesting ways to utilize it than I could come up with just thinking about it. So I called it energy for now and the player will spend energy to perform the roll move and will gain energy with every successful strike on an enemy. In the previous devlog episode, I promised to add some sound effects to my melee combat. So I added a sound manager and created a few mix channels to control different sounds. I then grabbed a few sound effects from a sound pack I had lying around and set up an audio script on both the player and the enemy. Most of these sound effects will be triggered by animation events, so I went through the animations to add sound effects for footsteps, melee attack, taking hits and dying. Now doing a quick mix and we have sounds. And yes, it sounds terrible without music and ambience, but at least now it works. The last thing I did was adding some camera effects when getting hit. So now the screen will flash white briefly and there will also be a small time stop to really let the player feel the impact of the hit. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button and if you would like to follow along as I continue to build the game, you should definitely subscribe to the channel as well. I'll see you next time.